Hello. Hello there. Uh, oh, I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. Silly. But I'm not a stranger. You see, we've already met. We're very close. Mama! Where's your mommy? I would simply love to have you for lunch. I don't want any lunch. All I want is my mama. Aren't you the sweetest thing? How about I take you out a little further? That way, no one will hear you and your whining. Bright white. Don't worry. Kuba soon will fly away from here. And it will be much warmer. Someone help me! Over there! Someone seems to be in danger! Aren't you getting sick of yelling? Don't you realize no one can hear you scream out here? Oh, but he's so small and bright white. He desperately needs our help. <sighs> I'm tired. Time to eat something. Mama! Oh, oh, no, oh. Jump to us! Quickly! How dare you! Give me back my lunch! Hey, you kids! You up there! I'm going to teach you a lesson! Whoa. Let's land! You're safe here! Hey, you up there! Bring me back my lunch! Hi, little buddy. I'm Leo. Tell us, what's your name? I'm back, and I want to go home <laughs> to my mama. Little guy, where do you live? I don't know. <laughs> I ended up getting lost. <laughs> don't cry. We'll find your home for you. And your mama. And your mama. <laughs> Thank you. Look down there. He looks exactly like Apak, but he's black and he's barking. <laughs> barking? He's looking for Apak, Tig. Let's go. <sighs> hey there. Were you looking for our little seal friend? Looking? I need some help. Can't you see? I'm stuck here. Then we'll help you get out of there, buddy. One, two, pull it! <laughs> Careful! Don't tear my snout off! I'm really proud of it! Don't worry! You won't lose your snout! Maybe if we pull harder, we can... Ow, 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 ow! 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 ow. ow. Thank you! Now we can introduce ourselves. My name is Stromai. I'm an elephant seal. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Leo the Leopard. These are my friends, Tig, Martik, Kuba, Yara, Mila, and Lily. And we recently ran into another elephant seal. His name is Apak. He's just lost and looking for his mother. He's not an elephant seal. He doesn't even have a snout. But I do. Do you see my snout? Only elephant seals have snouts like these ones. And I'm as black as the night. But Abak is bright white. Elephant seal babies are always black. But white babies are sea calves. Uh, so that means a pack's a sea calf? Hmm. He's still white right now. Huh? But when he grows up, then he'll become a hard seal. It's all so complicated, but you look so much alike. <laughs> we look alike, but not that much. My mom once told me a story that long, long ago, 
Some animals got tired of living on land, and they decided to live in the ocean. Their legs and arms transformed, and they became flippers. Those who began to make ice holes were then known as hard seals. And those who learned to dive much deeper and farther than the others suddenly grew long snouts. They were known as elephant seals. And the meanest, smartest ones of all were covered in spots and grew very sharp teeth and hunted other seals. They were known as sea leopards. I know where the seal rookery is. I can take you all there on the iceberg. Hey, you kids! Bring me back my lunch! How dare you! Oh, I'm not floating on that iceberg. We'll go on land then. Do you see that river? Follow it upwards to the source. Then you turn left, and finally you'll see the seal rookery. Aren't you coming along with us? No, sorry, but I'm much too clumsy on land. Okay, then Tig and I will take Apak, and you guys can guard the ship. But remember, do not go through the waterfall. There are sea leopards in there. I think we got lost somewhere. We're going and going, but it looks like we haven't found the source yet. <gasps> Over there! I bet she can help us. Hi there, Auntie Hardseal. Well, hello there, children. I'm Leo, and this is Tig, and that's Apak. And I'm Motney. Are you two out here all by yourself? Yeah, we're helping our friend Apak get back home to the rookery. Can you please tell us the best way to get there? Apak, oh, they sent me out to look for you. The whole rookery is worried. However, your parents aren't there right now. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Apak's parents are waiting and so am I. Uh, are you a hard seal? You don't really look like my mama or papa. That's why my name is Motney. In our language, it means not quite like the others. Did you get that? Oh, yeah. But why do you have so many spots? <gasps> I got dirty when I was looking for you. But once we get to the rookery, I'll wash it off. And why do you have such, such great big flippers, huh? Ah, oh, my flippers? Well, you will have them too when you grow up. <laughs> Whoa! <sighs> That's the waterfall, huh? That's a dangerous place. <laughs> why did you bring us over here? <laughs> hey, why do you have such great big teeth? Uh, uh, my teeth? What, what big teeth? No. <laughs> I think that this heart seal isn't really a heart seal. You're right. And I have great big teeth because they're all the better to eat you with, you silly children. <laughs> She's really a sea leopard! Run away! Save yourselves! <laughs> oh. Hurry! This way! But it's dark and scary! <sighs> 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 Come now, I've delivered your little white ball of fluff, huh? Safe yeah. and sound. Uh, uh. Mama, I miss you both so much. Epic, don't crawl so far away next time. <laughs> I won't. 
Thank you so much. We could have lost our little son without you. Mama, Papa, could we take them back to their ship? Of course we can, son. And we'll take the safest way back. I promise that when I grow up and I'm a big and strong heart seal, that I'll swim to the taiga to visit you. A pack! <laughs> we'll be waiting! <laughs> <laughs> A gift from the spirit of the tiger. Chubby boar came for lunch himself. Stop right there. Okay, this way. And okay, now this way. <laughs> I found him! <laughs> very, very good job. Did you see it? Cuba spent like half an hour sniffing around and I'm like, bam, bam, and found it. I've got an awesome nose. <laughs> well done, Tig. So, Mapa Pandiga, where did the sense of smell even come from? Oh, that's an ancient story, children. Once upon a time, Animals didn't have any sense of smell at all. Oh, <gasps> that's incredible. Listen to the story. In those ancient times, animals were relying only on their eyes and ears. But one day, a harsh winter came to the taiga. The weather was freezing cold like never before, and a thick blanket of snow covered the earth. It became very hard for animals to find food, and they began starving, and it seemed like the winter would last forever. The spirit of the tiger felt sorry for its children, and so it gave them the sense of smell to find food even under the thickest layer of snow. <gasps> to every single one? Sure. And the keenest sense of smell was given to fierce predators, the wolves. That's why you need to be more careful. There are rumors that a red wolf came to our woods. Oh, dear me. That means no more woods for me. Mapa, let's go look for flowers. It's my turn now. <laughs> sure, Mila. Tig, where's Cuba? Cuba? Probably still looking around for his flower. <laughs> the spirit of Taiga didn't do a good job on his nose. <laughs> no, Tig. He's not in the bushes. What if he went to the woods? The red wolf is there. Nah, he must be around here. Tig, we have to find him. Cuba! Hello? Cuba! Where are you? Tig, stop screaming like that. We don't want the red wolf to hear us. Leo, how do we find him? By his tracks? Can you see them? No, Tig. We'll find Cuba by the smell, like you found flowers. Oh, that's right. I'm gonna pick up his trail at once. <laughs> Leo, listen. What does Cuba smell like? Seriously? Like acorns, of course. Here, smell this one. Well... Wait, don't distract me. I think... I think, uh... Ah, got it! Do you smell it? That's definitely Cuba's aroma. Let's find him! Apparently he went off the trail. But why would he go into the woods? Ugh. It's all because of you, Tig. 
If it weren't for you, Cuba wouldn't go anywhere. What did I do now? Weren't you making fun of him, Tig? Cuba! You've been searching for half an hour! <laughs> Maybe you forgot your nose at home. <laughs> oh, I know! You exchanged your nose for acorns! <laughs> <laughs> Leo, I didn't know that he'd take it so personally. Tig, it's not okay to laugh at friends. Do you like it when Martins make fun of you? <laughs> For being afraid of heights so much? Okay, okay, I get it now. Stop! Where's the smell? It disappeared. <gasps> I don't like this at all, Leo. So who is he hiding from? Leo, I sense another smell. <gasps> Calm down, Tig. He's not even real. Cuba, come on. Go away, go away. Let's go. We have to save Cuba. Right, if he hasn't gotten eaten already. What a surprise. A kitten dessert. Leo, do you think this one's real? He said we're dessert. Must have eaten Cuba already. And now he's gonna eat us. What's going on? Where did you two go? Uh, I don't understand. I was following the trail. Uh, all right. You've outsmarted me. But next time, you won't manage to run away from me. <laughs> it worked! He left! He couldn't smell us! <laughs> Tig, thanks to the monster, the mud covered our smell! 
<laughs> Cuba! Yeah! Our missing boy is back. <laughs> and we thought you were the Bobland monster, not Cuba. <laughs> Listen, Cuba, you know, I'm sorry I was making fun of you. You might not have a sharp sense of smell, but I would never, ever think of hiding like that. <laughs> And this is Lily of the Valley, my favorite. Here, smell it. Amazing, right? Ew! Mapa, it smells like frogs! <laughs> You're right, that smells very weird. Very weird. It's because of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a muddy monster! I'm gonna save everyone! Tig! You're nothing like a monster. You're just a dirty little tiger cub. <laughs> yeah, one who smells like a frog. <laughs> Get up, lazy bones. <laughs> Time to wake up. <sighs> what if we skip it today? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> you sleepy heads. Go! Line up! Suck in that gut! And now... <laughs> Some water aerobics? What? It's time for target practice! What? Target practice? Okay, there's an old stump in a clearing. Well, who will be the target? One, three, two! This will surely be... you! <laughs> Why do I always have to do it? Quiet, you! Now get to the hollow! Where? To the hollow! Ready and aim! Fire! Whoa! Missed! All right, enough! Hey, what's with you? Can't you be a good sport? We're playing a game here! Well, it's a horrible game! Huh. <laughs> it's not horrible. It's like the best game ever! <clears throat> Do you want me to show you a real game? Playing Battleship. Hey! All hands on deck! Drop anchor! Aye, aye! Captain, set sail! Captain, I spy some reefs dead ahead. Ensign, give me the spy glasses! Aye! The spy glass, Captain! Helm to port! Aye! Helm to port! Ensign, hoist the colors! Aye! Hoisting the colors! the boat out! When you need something done... Whoa! Well, how about that? You see? Now that's what I call a real game. Ha! <laughs> Big deal. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was a pirate ship... A pirate ship? <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. But where would we get a pirate ship? Why don't we just build one? What? <laughs> Pirates don't build their ships. <gasps> they steal them. <laughs> All we've got to do is wait for the right moment. Guys, we're going to be late for Mappa's lesson. We better hurry up. <gasps> right. Let's get going. Spike, check it out. What? They're gone? <laughs> Are the borders ready? Borders away! Charge! Charge! <laughs> 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 The one who is late steals time from the one who waits. And time is something you can't get back. But today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk to you all about friendship. Mm, can anyone break these twigs? <laughs> That is so easy. I mean, look how thin they all are. 
<laughs> Tig, you can't break a single one. What sort of crazy weird magic is this? Weird magic? Ha 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 ha! Why don't you give it another try? Well then, have you figured it out what the magic is? I know! I know! Pick me! Of course. Go on, Mila. When we are together, we are strong. That a girl, Mila. Pirates! Cannon on board! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Down with the enemy flag! A pirate ship has to have a pirate flag! A pirate flag! Yeah. Spike, look how crooked and bent their swords are! <laughs> They're sabers, and it's Captain Spike! Y'all got that? It's Captain Spike! Uh, Captain Spike, uh, what are we going to do when Spatty and Strength come back? Yar, we'll cut them to pieces. Do you see how many cannons we have? Do you see how many sabers we have? Yes. <laughs> They're all bent. <laughs> I also have an idea. A brilliant pirate idea. <laughs> <laughs> Really thick jungle there? Yes, Mila. Nothing but thick, impassable jungle. And wild animals. And man eating fish. <laughs> and aggressive spiders. <laughs> Perhaps we should avoid this desert island. Really? How come? The only way to become a true sailor is on a desert island. But perhaps it's far away. What are we going to do while we're sailing to the island? Ideas? We will gather supplies. You, Mila, collect some nuts. Tig will collect mushrooms. I'll take berries. Okay, let's make it happen. Ah, hey, Striped. Getting ready for a distant cruise? That's none of your business. Well, I I'm just worried about you because your crew is quite wonky. You are the wonky one. Ah, you should have heard what Leo called you. <laughs> he said, Tig's no good as a helmsman. Give him the ship and he'll sink it just like that. And Mila said, Yes, I can steer myself. Let Tig run around like a good cabin boy for a bit. But from our point of view, it's pretty obvious who the real captain of the ship is. Really? And who is that? Ah, oh dear. Of course it's you, Striped. Only you have stripes on your fur, like a real sailor. Yep, he said just like this. How can he be a captain if he doesn't Whoa. even have stripes on his fur? And Milo went, we must make Leo a cabin boy so he won't get a big fat head. <laughs> can you imagine? They also said that there's no place for girls on board. Can you believe it? What? What? Yeah, they said that. Can you imagine? Wh what? Yar, pirates! Come on, put her in the brig! Leo! <laughs> 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 no, no, Tig! Help me! <laughs> Nobody's gonna help you! Yo ho ho! No, no one will save, save you now! now. Oh no, so sad! <laughs> so, you have stripes on your fur. Believe it or not, yes, I do! So what? You'll never become a captain. A captain? <laughs> of you two? No, thank you. I will never step aboard your ship again. You can go play by yourselves, you and Mila. No way. You can have Mila. I don't want to see you again or else. Or else what? <sighs> hmm. What's that? <gasps> it's Mila! No way! Your crew member is now ours! And the ship as well! <laughs> Yo ho ho! <laughs> Here we come! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Tiger Patrol. Know what I was thinking, Leo? Ah, how our dear Tiger is so vast and beautiful. Right you are, Tig. I've been wondering. There must be other countries. Of course there are, kids. Mapa Pandiga, can you tell us something about other countries? Oh, that's very interesting. Just for an example. There's a place where it never, ever snows. <laughs> yeah, right. Next thing you know, you'll be telling us that striped deer live there, too. <laughs> Do they ever? But there aren't deer. The horses. Listen here now. That land is called Africa. It's full of wondrous animals. A giant with a leg instead of a nose. A toothy lizard the size of a huge log. A beast with a neck so long that it can eat the leaves off the top of a tree. And although they look different, they are similar to us. Just like us, they are friends with each other. And they too love their land. Sometimes they get into trouble and so, I've heard that for times like that, they have a special team of heroes in Africa. They're called the Guardians. Should any animal need help, they come to the rescue. They are always ready to help. These Guardians are known around the world. Wow, it must be great to be a Guardian. I wish I were in that, what do you call it, Africa? I would love to be a guardian. Tig, we don't need Africa. Let's make a team of our own, right here, in the taiga. Wow, Leo, that's a really cool idea. Leo and Tig, guardians of the taiga. No, Tig, the guardians is taken. We have to call ourselves something else. Something for the taiga. Well, how about the taiga patrol? Ha! Awesome! The Tiger Patrol comes to the rescue! Ah, <laughs> I just can't! Spots and stripes down there! <laughs> the Tiger Patrol! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> Enough! Just... just go away! No, 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 no! You'll fail anyways! You'll make fools of yourselves! <laughs> That's right, you'll fail! <laughs> Leo, so who are we gonna help first, huh? Here you go, Mila. Oh, hi there, boys. Thank you so much. We're not boys, Mila. We're the Taiga Patrol, and you can let everyone know. Come on, Tig. Let's go see if someone else needs our help. Welcome. 
come, Mr. Snake. Except that we're, uh, not children. We are the Tiger Patrol. Look at them, huh? Soon everyone will be talking about these do-gooders. Let's just... let's just throw cones at them, huh? No way. I've got an even better idea. Come on, come on, left! Good! Hello, Beaver Bro! Do you need any help on your Beaver River? Huh? No need, thank you. We can manage just fine. Goodbye! All right, Tiger Patrol. If we're not needed here, let's just go. You're the Tiger Patrol? Well, now, that changes everything. Put that log over there for me, please. <laughs> just be careful. <laughs> hey! Sound the alarm! Yeah, we've got a leak! Oh, my dear! How unfortunate! <laughs> Get lost, you! Get out! You're way not a patrol! Uh, so, you're the Tiger Patrol? Sure! Who else? I am so glad that you're here. Some wasps built a nest on our tree. Now we're afraid to go back to our hollow. Help us, please. Ha! Piece of cake! We'll move it for you, no problem! Tiger Patrol now? Nothing better than knowing the whole tiger respects you. Here, 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 and there like that! Here. We'll help you, and we'll deliver it right to your burrow. <laughs> we are the Tiger Patrol! Ah! Ah! Help us! Ah! Help us! Ah! What's wrong? Ah! We just want to help you. The beavers and the squirrels! The warned us that the, the patrol is nothing but 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 trouble. No! Uh, help! Help! I'm us! confused. Help! Did we even help those squirrels? Tig, I think I know who's behind this. Uh, Spike, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Setting a trap. Spots and stripes will be passing here soon, and I've got a surprise for them. <laughs> Spike! Spike! Quiet! Ha! I really set them up, eh? Now the name Tiger Patrol makes everyone run scared! <laughs> I knew it! You're just up to your old tricks again! And you are going to pay for this, you imposters! Ha! I bet you can't catch us! <laughs> 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 We've got to lead them to the trap. <laughs> hey, Spotty Patrol! <laughs> You're gonna be banished from the tiger for good! That's it! You're gonna get it for good! <laughs> 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 you got caught in your own trap. <laughs> hey, patrol, are you there? Please help us. Pretty please. Oh, please. No way. <laughs> Stay there and think about what you've done. Hey, you can't leave. Don't go. Please come back. Oh, Mappa, nice to see you. We are the Tiger Patrol. <laughs> Heroes. Can you tell us where we can go to help somebody? I don't know, kids. Ah, maybe the spirit of the tiger will tell. He knows this forest well. How can he tell? <laughs> he doesn't even talk. Of course he talks to you. With signs, you just need to learn to see them. Someone out there needs us. Thank you, Mappa Pandiga. Tiger Patrol, to the rescue. Patrol, please, any patrol. Just get us out of here. <sighs> Who needs help here? Oh, I can't see you. We're, We're here. here. Help, help us. us. Quiet 
down, will you? We won't be able to hear if anyone needs help. They are the ones who need saving. Who do? The Martins? But they're the ones who built this trap to capture us. And now we're supposed to just save them? Yeah, we want to do good deeds. And they just hurt everybody. Leaving someone in trouble. Ah, that's not a good deed. No, that's not what heroes huh? should do. Spike, why did you get in the way of Leo and Tig? Because everyone's talking and talking about them. Yes, that they're so kind. Yeah, so nice. We want praise. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. Leo, Tig, why don't you put Spike and his brothers on your patrol? Mm, well, I don't know. Please take us on, and we'll be sure to behave. We, we promise. promise. All right, fine. You can join. <laughs> but only so we can keep an eye on them. Well done, children. All righty then, Tiger Patrol. Let's do it! Good deeds can't just go and do themselves. <laughs> That's what the spirit of the tiger says. We should just turn back. I'm afraid that we won't make it. Land! Land! I can't seem to turn it. I've got an idea. Tig, move away the way. But just move it out of the way. Uh-huh. I'm moving it away. All right, everyone, starboard. Imagine spending the whole winter here? Uh. <gasps> Who are you? And what are you doing here? We are friends of Lily the monkey. We're helping her find her way back home. And we are the Voguing Penguins, Penguins from, from the, the House, House of, of Wind Pingo. And I am Stella, the house mother. And this is Hernando and Creon. Are they your children? <laughs> <laughs> no. We, we just, just really, really like, like to vogue. vogue. It's, it's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. We're going to the ice ball. It's going to be held in Queen Maud Land. <sighs> I can see that you've run into a slight <coughs> issue. <coughs> Ooh, la la. No way. This isn't just a little issue. No way. This is a big problem. Not at all. House of Gwyn Pingo is famous not only for its style, but for its hospitality as well. Uh, uh, but what about the ball? Stella, we can't be late. Hernando, I'm surprised at you. Leaving our guests to suffer on our island? Oh my, that just isn't right. Wait for us here. I think that I might know what to do. Hoot, hoot, hoot. Hoot, hoot. <laughs> Finally, land. It's just so, 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 so much colder than the ocean. Stop whining. We'll warm up soon enough. Oh, well. Ah, very interesting. Follow me. <laughs> we really need to think about how to get our ship out of here. Or at least find out how to warm up. You see that? Something shining. Let's get a closer look. Take a look at that. What if we break off a couple of them to use? 
They could be like levers for the ship. When you work, you'll warm up right away. One, two, and push! It's working! You hear that? The snow is cracking! Hey! Get our ship out soon! Hey! I don't think that's the snow cracking! Well, what exactly is your brilliant idea? Look! The lava from the volcano is still warm. We need to take some of the warm rocks and lay them all around that wooden bird. <gasps> Ooh, la, la. That's great. The snow and ice will melt and it can fly away from here. Uh, just one problem, Stella. Uh, how do we get the rocks back down there? <gasps> Ooh. Look, villain. Aren't we lucky we just happened upon these hot rocks? What do you mean? Tell me, who exactly are you? I'm a friend of your guests. Uh, we were flying behind them, but then we landed. <sighs> uh, we saw that they were in trouble and that they needed help. They said that you guys also want to help them out. Well then, let's help them together. <laughs> what a great idea! <laughs> together! It's more fun! Yeah. Faster, faster, faster! You two are penguins, not snails! Just look at him! That Tasman is a real commander! Uh-huh. A commander who's willing to burn our nest to a total crisp. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You're such trusting penguins! These hot stones are actually for us, not them! So we don't burn <laughs> your guests! Silly spots and silly stripes! Figure it out! They can fend for themselves! <laughs> Let them sit in the snow! <laughs> <sighs> Great! No one deceives the house of Gwyn Pingo and gets away with it. I know exactly how to beat them. Hernando, Creon, follow me. Let's give them the totem pole. Is anyone still doubting my magnificent leadership skills? Huh? Oh. Oh. That's them! Oh. 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 Aha! You liars! You won't get away from the house of Win Pingo! Hernando, Creon, Totem Pole! Oh. <laughs> 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 These losers are all friends now? Why am I not surprised? Why am I not at all surprised? <laughs> We're not losers! We'll show you! Everyone together! Oh, oh, oh. Desmond, I think you might have ended up stealing too many rocks here. Yeah. Hold on tight! Hold the nest! Hold the nest! Well, I didn't know holding the nest was so hard for you. Hey, how about you just jump off? Then you can show those losers your leadership skills. Well, I'm sure warm now. <laughs> Thanks for your help, friends. <sighs> that was amazing. Yeah, and yeah, it stylish. was. <laughs> we have to think up a new dance to honor our victory. <laughs> yeah. Hey, <Alex. laughs> do you want us to fly you to the ball on our ship here? Oh, that would be just lovely. 
I never arrived at a ball in a <laughs> flying ship. Perhaps you would like to learn how to dance the Vogue. It's such, such a, a fabulous, fabulous dance. dance. Hernando, Prion, wonderful idea. My friends, would you like to join the House of Gwyn Pingo? Of course you would! <laughs> then let's go, my friends. We'll show you the moves on the way there. The ice ball is over there in Queen Maudland. And now, turn your attention to the voguing house of Gwyn Pingo! Oh, I think the house of Gwyn Pingo beats everyone! No one has ever made such a grand entrance before! Such elegance has never been seen! We are so very different, also so very different, with our spots and our some beaks, paws and flippers, even feet. We The Funny Cassowary. My turn. <laughs> Scaredy cat. <laughs> it's my turn. I won, I won. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Lily, be careful. You should sit down. You're going to fall off. I can't sit down. Not until I finish my stretches. Okay, I get it. I enjoy stretching too. And one, and uh, whoa! Ah! Whoa! Lily! Lily! Ah! 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 Whoa, what happened? Uh... Oh, oh, look who fell down from the sky. How interesting. Who are you? Stay away from me. How did I get here? <laughs> If I stay away from you, then how will I do this? Huh? 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 Ah! <laughs> I'm Cass, and this is Kalunda. He's a master of the pipe and drums. <laughs> I'm Lily. Thanks for your help. <laughs> hey, do you live here? Huh? This forest is our magnificent home. Home sweet home! <laughs> Can you please tell me where the highest spot is around here? I really need to find it. Oh, it's not far from here. We'll take you there. <laughs> uh, you know, Kalunda and I were just getting ready to have some lunch. <laughs> is it okay if we eat something first? Huh? That sounds good. I'm always ready to eat. <laughs> uh, so what do you eat here? I don't see anything that looks good to snack on. Follow us, my little friend. We know how to find the best food. Kalunda! <coughs> there is nothing better than going along, strolling the forest while singing a song. <coughs> if you sing a duo with a good friend, all around we'll hear that great sound. <coughs> Come on and sing now. Take a chance, Woo! sing and do it round. Ha! Ha! while you dance. Come on, don't miss out. You can join in our fun. Oh, hey, look, it's Cass and Kalunda. Hey, Kalunda! Hey, it's Cass, behind us. 
Yes, look! Look at that! But who's that with him? Hey! <laughs> oh, but such rhythm! What a dancer! Come see our troop, Lily! Oh, may I? As if you have to ask! Come along, <laughs> there's some food! <laughs> Help yourself. You deserve it. Go ah. right ahead. Well, well. Once again, that clown is embarrassing our proud family and singing his stupid songs for an audience. So unacceptable. Ah. And all those ridiculous dances of his. Utterly disgusting. <laughs> the nerve to go and laugh at us? Actually, only at you and your butterfly. Get on and get out of our forest. But that, that isn't fair. You can't kick out Cass. He's just like you two. <laughs> We're birds of honor. If Cass wants to stay, then let him show that he's a dignified cassowary. But how can he do that? <laughs> By beating one of them in a traditional cassowary competition. <laughs> and if you win, you can stay. Otherwise, you have to leave and stop embarrassing all of us. And what happens if you lose? Us? <laughs> <laughs> Lily, they both practice every single day. Well, if you lose, you have to dance with Cass. You want us proud cassowaries to jump around like silly birdies? <laughs> Not going to happen. That joker doesn't stand a chance. Well, even so, I'm still going to try. It'll be good to see if these cassowaries can dance to my friend Kalunda's pipe and drum music! Hmm. I declare that the match will take place at the sacred ficus tree. Right? Lily! Lily! Lily, hello! Hello! Lily, answer me! Ugh. Maybe we should land? But where? There's no spot to land around here. It's full of trees. <sighs> Yara, let's fly a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Okay. We are gathered here today to settle the issue of whether Cass is worthy of being called a cassowary. <laughs> <laughs> Now, legend has it that many, many years ago, there was no peace to be found in our forest. There were many arguments and many fights. Some fought over the watering hole. Others were to sleep. And others were because they could not share their food. And the fighting just wouldn't seem to end. The wisest inhabitant of the forest, a cassowary as legend has it, asked the forest to become a fair judge for all the animals in the area. And the forest responded to the cassowary's request. In the blink of an eye, a sacred ficus sprung up from the earth. It was a wise old tree that could always tell a truth from a lie. With its strong branches, it could determine without fail who was right and who was guilty. And then peace proceeded to reign over the forest. Enough legends! That's nothing but an old wives' tale. Come on, let's get down to business and kick this buffoon out of the forest already. Well, in that case, then may the great and always fair match of the cassowaries begin. I'm going to throw you out of our forest once and for all. Hey, now, this is my forest too. You can do it! It's almost like dancing! Come on, dance away! Huh? Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, no! Ah. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> 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 
See who the real cassowary is around here. <laughs> ah, according to our rules, Cass must leave the forest at once. But that's not fair. I was tripped up. It sounds to me like someone is a sore loser. Did anyone see you get tripped up? Hmm. You see, no one saw anything at all. You're nothing but a clown. And a liar, too! I saw him trip. And if you don't believe me, then let's ask the sacred ficus. It'll mm. tell us who's lying. <laughs> the ficus? That's nothing but a legend. You dumb little animal. Come on! Did you? Really trip him up. I, 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 uh... I'll have you know that singing and dancing is better than lying in order to win. I, 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 I didn't want to. I, I was, I was wrong. I'm sorry. <laughs> I won't do it again. <laughs> Cass, you are welcome to stay with us. I think that maybe you're forgetting about one more rule, aren't you? Where's Lily? Lily! Ugh. Lily, hello! This is all my fault. <gasps> hey, guys! Look over there! There she is! Lily! Hooray! Lily! <laughs> all right! <laughs> hey, I have to admit, you're pretty good at this. I think I'm enjoying myself. Mystery. Okay, Tig, let her play. And we'll get Martique on board. That's him in the grass. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old Cedar, raise your voice. Martique, come join us. No, no can do. I've got pine cones to collect here. Why do you need so many, Martique? Well, it's for an important task. <sighs> Follow me, I'll show you. That's where our cedar pine grew. It burnt down. The spruce was here. Also burnt down. Yeah, the red deer spared no one. <laughs> and this is my home tree. Well, it was. Night has fallen, but there's a noise. Now, old cedar, raise your voice. Quiet branches, don't be loud. Mark to cure is sleeping sound. Little squirrel, now you 
you sleep tight. Close your pretty little eyes. Rock-a-bye, baby, bird he sings. Someone's flying on a wing. A mighty forest bride. Who won't scare at night? Magic dream when here away. It is called. That's the lullaby that our tree sang to me. This tree sang it? <laughs> That's true. I heard it in the rustle of the leaves. Martique, what do you need the pine cones for? What do you mean? For the seeds. I'll collect a big pile of them. Then I'll plant them, and our forest will grow big again. Then you should have said so. And you really shouldn't be making up singing trees. Cupid, go on then. Get digging. We're planting a forest. Tig, wait. Do you know how long it will take them to grow? A century. There must be some faster way to do it. No, children. I don't know of a faster way. But I do know one legend. That was a long time ago. The tiger was visited by an enormous red deer and set the whole forest ablaze. The fire was so strong that even the spirit of the tiger himself got scared. The spirit hid in the last cone on the very top of the tallest cedar tree. The cedar started reaching for the sky to save the spirit of the tiger. The red deer couldn't reach the cone, and he retreated. The cedar opened the cone. Its seeds were scattered, and wherever they hit the ground, a forest started to grow really fast. Because that cone had the magic power of the spirit of the tiger. Since then, the cedar has been here. They call it the Great Cedar because it saved the tiger. That's the story, kids. Wow, Mappa Pandiga, I thought it was called Great because it was really big. But as it turns out, it saved all of the tiger. Hmm. We must find a way to get to the highest cone. What if it's a magic one? Let's just plant regular seeds here. Tig is scared. <laughs> well, uh, I'm not scared. Tig, come on. We'll climb it somehow. That's what we have claws for. Huh? It might get windy. Uh, what we should do is get the cone by throwing a stone. Hey, guys, up there, look. <laughs> not far now. What do we do next, Leo? We'll scatter the seeds around from the top of the very tallest tree, like in the legend. That way, the seeds will be spread far and wide. The tallest tree here is my home tree. <laughs> ah! It's a monster! <gasps> Run! Ooh. Ooh. Look out! Martik, 
Why didn't you warn us about such a... such a... Because it wasn't Ugh. there. It must have appeared because of the fire. Did you see how black it was? I did. That's because he must be an ash monster. And he's here because he doesn't want us to plant the magic cone's magic seeds. What do we do? Make it leave. Take that and that and no. there. Against such a big, strong monster, we don't stand a chance. But I've got a plan. Listen. Hey, monster! Look what I've got. It's a magic pine cone. If you want it, come and get it! <laughs> What? It's not magic. <laughs> and the magic cone goes to Martique. Martique, go on. <sighs> it's too high. Martic, be careful. <gasps> Someone's flying on a wing Mighty forest bright Who won't scare at night? Magic dreamland here awaits Don't be scared! It's the tree spirit! It's calling you with grace Can no one hear that? Listen, that's... We'll show you the pretty world. That's his lullaby. It is full of magic goods. It's all true. It's a singing tree. It's so beautiful. Hooray! Wow, beautiful. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, home tree. <laughs> the forest is alive again already. Yup, a miracle. <laughs> For all miracles are done by the power of love. And if you have a magical pine cone, that also helps. <laughs> 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 Little Feet. And then the fox started chasing the little hare away. <laughs> Leo, check it out. The fox. Just like a real one. Oh, Mila, seriously. Tig, don't interrupt. Mila, go on. Come on, show us what happened next. But the little hare <laughs> didn't get scared of the fox. <laughs> Look at that hare. He didn't get scared. <laughs> what a big hero. Monster! Run! Run! Uh, hey, Mila, is this also part of your performance? No. Hey, careful! Oh, my Mica! Ah, you lot running! Not watching your steps! Bielsa! Thank you. So what happened exactly? Bielsa! Bielsa's coming! Oh, that's Bielsa! He is so enormous! He's a hero! He saved our little boy! Yay! What now? A hero? Hero! Where? Hero! He's hero! safe! So what now? I'm a hero? <laughs> you hear that, Leo? I'm apparently a hero! <laughs> sure you are, Tig! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Praise the hero! Come to her. What is this? Oh, your wiseness! It's the first heroic deed! Oh, hero! You saved our beloved little boy! And that's why we like to invite you to a feast! In your honor! Feast in my honor? 
This is so awesome. I'm a hero! 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 Tig, hero. you can't be serious. Sure I'm serious. Just watch me. Come on, guys. Come to my feast tonight! Praise the hero! Praise hey, the you hero. need to be more careful carrying me. Praise Don't let the hero, hero fall, right? Tig the Courageous, are you quite happy staying with us? Uh-huh. <sighs> it's a pity Leo can't see me right now. He would never believe this. <laughs> Ooh, is that my picture? Awesome! Now I have something to show Leo at the feast. That was a close one. Praise the hero! Oh, Praise come the on, hero. it's nothing. Praise Seriously. The, the second deed. Praise the second deed. The oh, your royal hero. highness. It's the second heroic deed. Take this. Get out of here. The third deed. It's the third deed! Praise the hero! <laughs> That's Praise right. The hero. It's so much fun Praise being a hero. hero. Praise the hero! Oh, great hero Tig. <laughs> the legend's telling the truth. You came back to us again. The legend? <laughs> what kind of legend? An ancient legend. It happened a long, long time ago. Weak and small was the Lemming tribe, afraid of everything. Anyone could hurt us. But most of all, our tribe was afraid of the forest monster. Every year, the monster would come to our pantry and plunder it. The Lemmings then started to pray. Oh, great spirit of Tiger, we are small and need your protection. The spirit of Taiga heard them and promised to send down a hero. But the lemmings didn't recognize him right away. Only after he performed three heroic deeds, they realized he was the hero. The lemmings lowered their heads before the hero and told him about their troubles. The hero then went out and made the forest monster go away. That's awesome. What happened then? And then the hero left. But he said that if the forest monster would ever start bullying the tribe again, he will come back and we will recognize him by three heroic deeds. And now he's here. Yeah? So is he. <laughs> it's you, oh great hero. Praise the hero! And Praise now, when hero! you are here, you will Praise chase away the, the scary forest monster. Praise the hero! <laughs> Not a problem. So who's your monster then? A uh, chipmunk or something? <laughs> chipmunk? <laughs> no, it's actually a little bigger. Actually, I'm talking about Bilza. Bilza? <laughs> Feels a... You know what? I'm... I'm not ready to be a hero. I'm not hero material, really. I think you should find someone else, okay? Lemmings, the hero has to perform a heroic deed! Hero! 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 Hey, what are you doing? Let me go! Raise the hero! Raise I don't want to be your hero! hero. Let me out of here, you hear me? I need to go home now. Praise, Praise the, the hero! hero! I mean, I'll be back in the evening in time for heroism. Come over here. I saved your life. It's your turn to help me. Go find my friends, please. Okay. <laughs> Cuba! <laughs> you missed! <laughs> There's Tig! Tig, and um, they put him in a cage! Um, uh, oh. Hey, wait a minute. Did you just say cage? Go back 
I can start from the beginning. Hero! 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 Why did I decide to become a hero? I could be at home right now with Leo. Lemmings! The time of heroism has come! Leo, my friend, where are you? Hero, do you feel that you're ready to fight the forest monster? No. The hero's ready. <laughs> Good luck, hero. We believe in you! some kind of agreement? Okay, this is the end. Tig, don't be scared. I'm here. Leo, buddy, oh, you're here. You here to save me? Yes, Tig, I have a plan. Leo, are you trying to blind him? Is that your plan? Patience, Tig. The performance is only getting started. Leo, a monster! Oh, this is it! Goodbye, my friend. Scary monster. <laughs> Here's your scary monster, Tig. <laughs> wow, guys, that was something. What a great idea you came up with. Even Bielsa got scared of you. It's you who deserve to be called heroes. Oh, greatest of heroes. Oh, no, we're not your heroes. We were simply saving Tig. He's our friend. And the thing we use to scare away Bielsa is Micah. Oh, in that case, in that case, let's have a feast to honor Micah. And friends! And friends! Ha, the Micah and Friends Day. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> oh, your wiseness. Leo, I did perform three heroic deeds. <laughs> Didn't I? Oh, Tig, you're hopeless. 